Welcome to Gardening with Granny. Today we're going to talk about the milkweed plant. And this is common milkweed. And this is the area I've dedicated to planting the milkweed. Milkweed is a weed. So you really want to be careful about where you're planting it. So this is the end of the season, what milkweed looks like. It grows a pod like this. And if it grows on your property and you want to contain it, you can actually take a rubber band and rubber band the seed pod closed. And then in the spring, you can pluck it off and the seeds will be there for you to plant or share with other people. As the pod opens up, you will see full of these beautiful seeds and they're like a dandelion weed, whereas they will catch on the wind and be taken and fly up or plant itself. So what I want to do with milkweed is bring it to a nature preserve near us and spread the seeds. I'm not going to plant them, but if I spread a myriad of seeds, they're bound to grow. So you want to be careful, like I said, about where you're going to plant the seeds because milkweed is a weed and they also are poisonous if consumed in a great amount by some pets. So you, you know, most pets are pretty smart. They aren't going to chow down on something that they know is toxic. So um, I don't think you have to have a great fear of it, but you want to be careful that you are um, secure about where you're planting it and how you're going to do it. This is the type of milkweed that grows here in Michigan. And in California, they have a totally different type of milkweed. That's because the milkweed is actually a key instrument in the monarch's reproductive system. This type of milkweed keys in to the monarch putting their eggs on the leaf and to be there for um, the eggs when they open up, mature, and have, uh, have a readily supply of food. The monarch wheat milkweed that is grown in California actually doesn't create that kind of key indicator to the monarch butterfly. It's a resting time for them. So when the monarchs leave, they need to rest, come back, reproduce. So that's the cycle of the monarch. It's fascinating, there are books about it. So if you're uh, interested in uh, monarchs and how you can help promote, we've lost so many uh, monarchs. Uh, it's amazing. Um, there are books that tell you how uh, different things have affected the monarchs and how by spreading this kind of milkweed in the area that is suited for it, can be very, very helpful in supporting their reproduction and uh, allowing them to uh, grow again. So um, I hope you've enjoy enjoyed this video, that you too will plant some mon a wonderful milkweed for your monarchs. So until next time, take good care. So we're at this uh, park. Now it is close to the highway, but this is a protected area. 
and there's lots of weeds with seed pods already. So these are not milkweed, but this encourages me that the milkweed will be understood. You don't want an area where they're going to be cutting the grass or killing the grass. So there you go. Now you may think, why isn't she digging a hole and putting it in the hole? You have to remember, this is a weed. Weeds find their way. If you're a gardener, you know that they do. Plus the fact, the wind will take it and carry it. The birds may find it. And that's okay. I have hundreds of these seeds. Okay. We've done our part and the monarchs can live on. So hopefully you'll be able to get a little information from this and um, help the monarchs in their flight. Um, they're a, a lovely butterfly. I enjoy watching them in my garden. Uh, I've also seen swallowtails, and that's been a joy as well. So that's it for today. Thanks for viewing. This is Mary for the Hollywood.